Uh, <laughs> hello one and all. This is still Hellkite. This is just a basic bit of a, a ramble video. Um, I've had a lot basically this on my mind for a while. And um, it's basically just a video to um, show how much I actually mean to you guys. And basically I'll never take advantage of you. Because I've talked to a good friend of mine. And uh, they said this uh, other YouTuber is doing this, this and this. And people, people know who I'm on about straight away. And uh, it's just pissed me. Honestly, it's just really pissed me off now. To the utmost just why why is he doing this well he's not doing anything i like, quote on wrong like actually it is wrong in my opinion the fact is he has no responsibilities he basically works full time and um yet he still begs people and begs and begs and begs for donations and subscription fees from his twitch and stuff and the job he works is a good paying job. It's a very good paying job. And uh, he could afford that himself. But yet he asks for people from donations constantly and badgering people for donations. Oh, I'm doing a Patreon page. I'm doing a Kickstarter page. I promise. Fuck your promises. Honestly, just fuck your promises and shove them up your ass. Because quite frankly, your fake promises are just nothing. They don't mean anything. Because you got so many like you got you got people yourself, you've already got a lot of diehard fans on your channel. On his channel, sorry. But yet he doesn't reply to them. Any questions he doesn't reply to. Any sort of like you know, maybe some maybe it's just some help or anything. Just doesn't reply. Even on Twitch, I I've seen I went on his Twitch one time, people asking him questions. He was he was clearly looking at the chat box. Wasn't replying to people. Subscribers to him are just a number, but yet he begs people for money. What the hell is that? And it infuriates me to think that people like him have subscribers that love him so much and like his content, and yet he just pushes them aside. But when he makes his promises, I, I want to get myself a PS4 because I can play games and do Let's Plays, and he won't. I mean, I know a long time ago he said, oh, you can pay me. To do a let's play, who who does that? But then I, I, it's kind of annoying with him with his followers as well, because they pay for him. They basically they hope they hope for for, for once he would keep a promise. And he asked his subscribers to pay for his friends for games, and pay for a second capture card for his 3DS because he sold it because he's a freaking idiot. I can't really talk because I've got a small fan base. But what I like to think about my fan base, I, my responsibilities, you know, my regulars know my responsibilities. I have kids, I have a house, I have a wife, and we're trying to move house at the minute. I'm trying to get as much hours as I can. I work my ass off. And my channel, I try and work as, much, as hard as I can on, and I try to get out as much content as I can when I'm not busy, sadly. But, you know, with, you know, reality sort of things, sadly, it has to take a step, you know, a step back from that, sadly. But the fact is, I don't take advantage of you. I adore my subscribers. I mean, my regulars. I try and answer as much questions as I can. When I have time, I'll answer as much as I can. And that's why I try to keep my promises. Like for instance, when the Monster Hunter 4 was, you know, around the bend and it was coming over to the UK or America, when it was actually finally getting, you know, westernized and stuff, I had fans saying, are you going to play Monster Hunter 4? And I literally said in a, in a vlog, like maybe months and months and months ago, saying, no, I cannot afford it. And uh, people were upset about that. Not like, oh, you're sorry, you suck. They wanted me to play it so badly because my, my channel is about Monster Hunter. That's basically the biggest one of my, uh, it's the biggest series on my channel. But again, I, I, I kept getting questions. Are you going to play it? And again, I said, no. But then I had some people saying, oh, we'll help you. I was like, yeah, fine. I did a follow-up video from that video saying, it is your choice. I made this video thing on the top right corner, the PayPal thing. It is your choice. You can pay if you want, and it's fine. If you, do, if you don't pay, it's fine. I'm not going to ask people for money. It is their choice. And I uploaded, I did that, and within a week, I got my, I literally got all my stuff. I got all the money I needed. Plus, even the people who couldn't help out, they did help out. 
they watch my videos and help with the ad revenue. And even people who didn't watch my videos a lot, they still comment, they still help, they still contributed. And I adore my subscribers for that. I'm not going to say you're my friend and stuff, but some of you are great guys, honestly. The regulars, like, you know, you got Zach, Drakaroff, Jan, Alex, Justin, Alex, just so many regulars that I absolutely adore. And Justin and Drakaroff really helped me out and... It's just the small things that what happened, and I got my capture card now. You know, I got my amazing capture card, and my promise was I will get out as much content as I can, and I will play with the people as much as I can. And what have I done? I've kept to my promises. I've added people on Skype. I've talked to them. They talk to me. I try to reply to people as much as I can when I have the time. But and when I get time, I reply to them. But under this jackass over here, he asked for all this fucking money. From PS4s to capture cards for his friends getting games. And does he play with his subscribers? Fuck off, does he? He doesn't play with any of his subscribers. He doesn't play with any of them. He doesn't reply to them. What kind of YouTuber is that? What kind of person does that? I can understand if he was in the millions of subscribers, it's very hard to reply to people. But even like big YouTubers like Markiplier, and not really PewDiePie, <laughs> Markiplier, Game Grumps. They look at the comments, and he acknowledges them. He doesn't reply to them, but he acknowledges them. Like, I've read all your comments, and I've seen this, this, and this. Thank you. And he replies to some people, sadly, you know, because, you know, being that big, it's, you know, the spam isn't real. But he has no excuse. I have a friend, like Kylie, for instance. She is triple, triple what he is. And she still replies to people. She still replies to people. Another guy, 70,000 subscribers, he still replies to people. How fucking hard is it hard to just reply to your fans? But all I'm going to say is, guys, to the end of the video, to all, I'm, I'm basically just to show how I actually mean to you guys mean the world to me. For like, for your channel, you know, for the channel. You, I lost my channel. I like, you know some people don't really know this. I lost my channel. My channel was deleted. It was gone. I don't know who did it, what monkey deleted it, but I'll break his fingers if I find him. And uh, I lost it. But it's been like four months since I've lost my channel. And I basically got it back after four, you know, before when I actually did lose it. And I was on zero subscribers. Four months later, I'm nearly back at my subscribers. And they're genuine subscribers. They came back to me. And that's how awesome it is. Because usually some people, they once their account account gets deleted, they they don't, no, that's done, that's him done. They, they, they threw in the towel. But I didn't want to do that because I know some people really enjoy my content, even though I'm not the best player. Um, I replied to people. That's the main thing. I replied to people. I answer questions. I stream. And I get people onto my stream. And I talk to people who do rotations. And new people join and they subscribe. And I talk to them. I don't see how hard it is. But I'm getting off topic here. I made this video to show I you're just not a number. You're not a number to me. You're not a number to me. I might this will probably never be a job for me. This will never be a job. I don't think. But who cares if it is or not? If it is a job or not? If I ever get huge on YouTube or something. But in my opinion, I don't care if I get big or not. This is a hobby, and I really enjoy this hobby. But thanks to you guys, make it more fun. You make it a hell of a lot more fun. But again, you're not a number to me. You're people. You mean something. You mean to You make this channel who it is. Without you guys, I've got nothing. And my channel is nothing compared to you guys. That is quite simple. That is very simple. And I don't know how it is, how hard it is for other people to understand. Like, oh, they do stupid comments. If there's a stupid comment... Or a rage comment is an easy thing. You hit delete. I don't know how hard it is. But, again, repeating myself for the last time. You guys are not a number. You're people. You mean something. You make this channel who it is. What it is, sorry. And you made me a better person because of it. My comments when I first started doing YouTube were awful. But now I'm outspoken. I'm loud. And I'm an idiot. And people like that for some reason. You're not a you're not a number to me. This thank you to everyone. 
I'm not going to say names or anything. I will, I, just thank you. I'm going to stop this rant now because I just needed to get off my chest because it has been pissing me off for a very long time. Thank you.